Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about the types of juices on the market. I'm sure you're interested to juice all sorts of fruits and vegetables in your own kitchen, but you have to know that they are different types. And from on this slide itself, you can see three different juices, but each of them has a different function, and each of them has a different name. I'm not going to go through all the intricate details of each of these um, juices, I'm just going to give you a rough idea, and I'm not going to talk about all the brands associated with each different types of juices. Now, the thing with People going with juices, um, the issue mainly is they're confused, there are too many choices, they don't know how it works, and they need to look at reviews. But oh, the reviews can be quite confusing, isn't it? And they are very expensive to buy. But with so many choices, with different um, product descriptions and, and uh, the price differences and how would you know which is the best juice to choose for your own needs? So, I'm going to talk about just three little things, just to clear out a bit of the confusion, and just go through a few different choices and tackle the issue of pricing. The first one that we look at here is the centrifugal juicer. Now, the centrifugal juicer is the most common one. You can find it in the supermarket, in departmental stores, on any brands that sell juices, and these are the cheapest ones you can get in the market today. They're easy to maintain, and um, some pretty popular brands include Breville and Hamilton Beach. Breville is by far the most popular one, it's an Australian brand. And while using centrifugal juices, it is, it, it, it is not complicated at all. It doesn't require you to assemble um, parts, and all you need to do is to get one, buy some fruits or vegetables, put it in there, and start juicing. The problem with it is it can be quite noisy, and um, it is not suitable for vegetables. If you want to look for vegetables, then you will need to look at something called a masticating juicer. The masticating also means chewing, so because of this, it is much slower, and it's great for almost all types of vegetables and almost all types of fruits. Um, you can um, juice bananas in a centrifugal juice because you just turn it into a mash or a mush that just won't give you anything at all. So you need to try something like a masticating juicer or a tricurating juicer, which I will talk about later on. The beauty about this masticating juicer is that it is quieter, it produces a lot of juice and retains the most number of enzymes, minerals, and hence the nutritional quality quantity and the quality is high. And what you can see here is the Omega Juicer, which is by far one of the most popular masticating juices that you can find. The most expensive one, and if you have the money, you should invest in a tri juicer because this works for almost anything, including wheatgrass and all sorts of vegetables. What you cannot juice in centrifugal juices and you cannot juice in masticating juices, you can juice with this juicer. It does cost a lot of money, a few hundred dollars at least. And the thing is, it can help you make pastas, purees, butter, and even baby products. Okay? So, this is the real deal if you have a lot of funds. But if you're looking for a middle ground, then um, I do suggest going for a masticating user. Okay? But for starters, I do suggest going for the gradual centrifugal users. And here you can see it is the Super Angel juicer. So, what about the functions and how it works and what are the reviews? I'm not going to go too much into that uh, in this slide, but in this PowerPoint presentation, but I'll talk about more of it on the website at www.jljuicer.com. So, I'll see you there.